another YouTube video. So today we're going to work on the mirrors in the truck, all right? So right now, whenever you lock the truck, the mirrors close. You unlock it, the mirrors stay closed until you open the door and close the door again, all right? So we're gonna change that. All right guys, so this company reached out to me and they have this new OBD connector, OBD2 port connector. It's also specifically for force scan. It's called the OBD Monsters. We're gonna test it out, see how well it does. See if it's as good as the OBD Link or maybe as the ELM327. Let's find out. All right, so let's see if it lights up in here. That's one thing about this now. So it's like it's sticking up. So you can't really see the lights. All right. So that's one thing that's not so cool about it. Let's plug it into the back of the laptop now. We're going to hit OK. Let's see if it connects the same. That's kind of odd. Why is it saying check on Wi Fi? Check on COM3. Okay, I found the vehicle. No. Hmm. Gave me a lot of messages saying it's not connecting. Alright, let's go back and look at the instructions on these. Okay, so it says to click on settings, connection, MS CAN support, and RTS relay. So let's try that. All right, so let's go to settings and connection. Under MS can support, let's switch this to relay. Start again. All right, we're gonna connect. It's loading. We're gonna hit yes. Okay. Not bad. And we're ready. Okay, this is Autofold Mirrors Lincoln style. This is the way the truck is currently set up. We're going to change it to regular Autofold Mirrors. All right, we're going to go into the DDM. Hit Run. Hit OK. All right, we're going to go into 740-0301 and change the... Okay, so let's say we're gonna have to figure out what it was before because I need to put it back to whatever it was We're gonna load, but let's save all these first. I'm gonna save all I'm gonna enter the date Okay Okay All right now we're gonna load factory settings, so if you've never seen this, you can load factory as-built settings now. This is kind of new. You do have to have a Wi-Fi connection. And everything's loaded. Operation complete. Okay. All right, so now you can see what it used to be. It was zero. And then on the 1201, zero also on the bottom. Okay. So now we're going to load the previous file that we just saved, DDM. Hit OK. Okay. Now I'm going to change that second, I mean the third digit, third digit here to zero and the bottom stays the same. Save. Yes. Yes. All right, so now we're going to cycle the engine off and then back on. Hit OK. We can go ahead and stop and then go up to configurations and let's do now the passenger door module, PDM. Hit OK. Let it load. Look, the battery's a little low. Okay. Yes. Fine. Whatever. Okay, we're going to go to the, we already know it's a zero, so we're going to do that 741-0301, third digit, make it a zero. The bottom stays the same. Yes, yes. All right, 
cycle off again, and then back on. Okay. All right, we're going to stop. Go back to vehicle and disconnect. And exit out. Lock it, close this, unlock it, opens. Let's try it with the let's try it here now. Push the lock button. Closes. Alright, let's try the code now. Opens also. I will touch this. Opens. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out some of these other videos that I have too, alright? Let you check out some of this artwork out here at the Graffiti Park in Houston.